Hello class, Dr. McIntosh here. Just thought I'd check in and welcome you to organizational behavior. Uh, I hope that you had the time to get the books for the course. If you have any questions about those, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, please take some time to read the syllabus and review the rubrics as uh, we will be pulling, for those, pulling from those often throughout written assignments and discussion forum posts. And um, I wanted to start off by letting you all know that I'm giving you all an A. Um, so at the beginning of the course, I always tell my students, you have an A. I've given you an A already. So you've started the course with an A and um, it's now your turn to either keep that A with your participation, with your discussion forum posts, with your written assignments, or to take away from that A with your discussion forum post, your written assignments, and your participate, participation. So keep that in mind as we move forward. Um, this week we'll learn just about some uh, essentials of organizational behavior, um, just what it is, what it uh, entails, and how to define it. Um, and then throughout uh, the course, uh, we will look at different things such as uh, individual differences and in personality, attitudes, values, moods. Um, I'm sure you all can share some examples of that one coworker who seems to have an attitude or mood and how that affects workplace behavior. Um, so this will be an exciting class. I'm sure that you all will have plenty of stories to share um, it's, it's actually fun to share in these stories or these experiences to know that you're not alone, uh, when handling politics in the office or attitudes or personalities or power issues, um, or group behavior, uh, that isn't necessarily positive. So, um, as we go on throughout the course, feel free to reach me on email. I'm very responsive to email. Um, also, we can always set up a video call on Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. I've opened online office hours. That means you can just call me, video me, email me, smoke signal me, uh, whatever it takes. So um, I hope that you enjoy the course. And as we go forward, you'll see more of these videos pop up here and there for me, as well as some application of uh, relevant and um, examples from current events in the world. So um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Take care.